Hello everybody, welcome back to my, uh, my page on YouTube. I think this is video number 16 now for me. Yeah, I'm a beginner, I'm just learning. But anyway, I just like to share. I'm a prepper and, uh, there's a lot of us out there. So in this video, I want to talk about, uh, skills that will help when shit hits the fan the first one and I talked about this in a past video is first aid knowing first aid <clears throat> having a decent first aid kit and I'm not just band-aids but having a decent first aid kit and knowing how to use what you have in your kit is important because it can save your life, a family member's life, a friend's life, even a stranger. Uh, <clears throat> basic wound care, which is your abrasions, uh, small cuts, and stuff like that. You know how to dress them, clean them. Another skill to learn, which I'm looking into personally right now, is how to suture. I have the suture kit, the threads, the needles. Um, I was in somebody's live chat the other night and they said pigskin is the closest to human skin to practice on sutures I mean because if somebody in your group in your prepping group if they get a really bad wound a bad cut and you know how to clean that cut and give stitches that'll that'll help Especially with keeping down infections. I mean, because if you're if you're walking around with a, a really bad cut, that's going to get infected, and that's just going to make matters that's mu that much worse. You can go to your fire station, or probably I local police. I would go to the fire station. I guarantee you they could probably tell you where you can take first aid classes if they don't give them there at the fire station. Uh, CPR. Know them what to do when somebody's choking. Uh, these are these are first aid skills that um, everybody should know. Uh, the other one is there's your herbal remedies um, there's there's certain herbs that will settle an upset stomach uh, help with a headache help with a toothache that kind of stuff I mean look look into that kind of stuff if you can get certified that's good too and a good first aid manual. I don't have any recommendations on a good first aid manual, but I'm sure you can look it up online. I've got a few different ones, but uh, think about your first aid. That's definitely a skill I, I feel that everybody should know just even if it's just your basic first aid the next one next skill to learn or that would be good to know is gardening do you know how to garden not everybody has a green thumb um, if you have just a small backyard or if you have a couple of acres you know knowing the soil 
and and what plants that you can plant and the plants that interact together because you can't grow the same crop constantly from what I understand and that's saying you have to rotate from what I understand I'm not a gardener but I'm just I'm, I'm sharing what I've heard uh, I live in an apartment like I've said in the past and I have grown tomato plants in our spare room in five gallon buckets and it worked out really well it worked out better than I thought uh, if shit was to hit the fan though I don't plan on staying where I'm at because it's not a good location too many people too many people around there uh, there's a couple of places that we have set up to where we will go oh and happy Saturday and also with your gardening if you if you can grow vegetables and and fruits or just growing food period if you can if you can do this you can also use your food to barter you know if you if you're around people that and I really have to I don't want to say trust because if, if shit hits the fan you don't know what's going to go on but if there if there's people around that you can talk to and you can get along with and you say hey I've got some potatoes here or I've got carrots we need some water or we need some some honey you can barter some of the food and you can also barter other items but bartering is another skill also um, another skill that is good to have is your basic uh, fix it do you know how to use a saw a hand saw do you know how to use a hammer and hammer a nail a hand drill uh, I mean if, if stuff breaks down uh, simple electric electrical work I'm I'm not an electrician uh, I was a welder for quite a few years and I don't see where welding if you have no electricity you're not gonna weld if you're lucky to have a shop and a generator you might be able to do some welding uh, along with that just general your general carpentry okay I, I've got a hand tool here and this is actually a chainsaw and it's got to where you can put your hands on both sides but this is actually a chainsaw blade and you can use this to cut wood wood for fire wood wood to build a shelter they work they work great I use, I've got a couple of them I use them for camping when I do go camping I haven't been camping in a while um, but yeah, you're just your basic, you know, know how to, to fix stuff. Duct tape comes in handy too. <laughs> Don't forget about your duct tape. Uh, another is I was doing a little bit of research and looking around. I never gave this really any thought. But uh, home, it's called home keeping skills. Which basically comes down to, do you know how to cook? 
if uh, I mean all of your freeze-dried food all you have to do is add boiling water but what if you don't have what if you're not that person that's got freeze-dried food all your food is canned or jarred um, can you do you know how to cook I actually knew some people that didn't even know how to boil water I was like you gotta be fucking kidding me really you burn your toast too learn how to cook learn how to cook an egg just learn how to cook it's easy another one uh, is learning how to sew when I was in the military they taught us how to sew we had to sew our own buttons on our patches all that stuff and that comes in handy and actually learning how to sew can go back up to your first aid to learn how to give stitches or doing stitches but uh, in your worst case scenario your clothes are going to get torn they're going to get ripped it's just depending on on that on the situation that you're in so you're going to want to learn how to mend up your clothes uh <clears throat> washing the clothes that's another one if you don't have any running water that's going to be a tough scenario so what do you do to have some clean clothes, have some clean underwear, have clean socks. If you've got the water saved up, or if you're lucky enough to have a stream nearby, you've got water that you can boil, put your clothes in, and at least hand wash them. There's actually flat rocks in, if, if you can go to a small riverbed, you can use flat rocks and just, I know it's going to wear the material, but it's going to help clean them out a little bit. And then you can rinse them. I say this because I've seen it done in the Philippines. Um, get a, if you can get a, if you have the ability to have a 50 gallon drum, keep that drum outside and let it catch rainwater. You don't have to drink that water, but you can use that water to clean your clothes. You can also use that water, uh, as... If you have to go to the bathroom, where are you going to go to the bathroom at? Because you got to think about sanitation too. Dig a hole, and you're going to have to dig a hole pretty far away from where you live. You don't, you just don't want to go in your backyard and use the bathroom. That's that's not good. But sanitation is another thing that you need to think about. You know, and yes, I did make notes. I don't uh, edit my videos. I I sit here and talk to you guys. The next skill is um, self-defense, and every prepper video, or anybody that you even talk to will tell you about self-defense defending yourself your family and your friends there's probably a lot of people out there that don't like weapons handguns rifles what have you there's alternatives to that but what's that old saying don't take a knife to a gunfight there's pepper spray. You can use that. Um, learn how to use pepper spray. There's stun guns. But a stun gun, you have to be up close and personal to be able to use that. 
unless you unless you can be really sneaky. But uh, another thing about the pepper spray, and I've thought about this, there is a, a pepper spray that you can buy when you go out into the wilderness hunting, and it's pepper spray that is made specifically for bears. Just imagine spraying that in a human's face. That's got to mess them up. If it can take a bear down, it's going to take a 250-300 pound man down. That's just my thinking. That's, uh, I'm not an expert in any of this. Um, you know, that, like I said, a stun gun, pepper spray, a knife. Hell, I don't know if you got a sword. But any any of these that you have, um, practice. You got to practice, practice, practice. Um, you can sign up and take uh, martial art classes, but uh, that's kind of pricey too. But uh, as humans, though, we all have internally the instinct to fight. Fight or flight, you either fight or you run. One of the two. And then it comes, uh, another skill would be outdoors. Because, uh, okay, let's, let's use uh, an earthquake or a tornado and it wipes everything out. And you can't get any help. You don't get help for two weeks, three weeks. What was it, Puerto Rico that had a hit with that hurricane? They had nothing for months. No power, nothing. They were basically living outside. Do you, could you do that? Starting a fire. Making shelter. And making shelter goes back to knowing how to use hand tools. Um, build a snare. Make a snare to cut, catch a rabbit or a squirrel, some kind of animal. And then knowing how to clean that animal and cook it. Um, knowing how to clean the animal is important because if you hit the wrong organ on that animal as you clean it, uh, you'll you'll mess the meat up. You'll end up either killing yourself when you eat it or making yourself really sick. Foraging wild plants, mushrooms. You also have to know what you can eat and what you can't eat. And there's there's some good books out there on uh, your edible wild plants and edible wild mushrooms. And it's, the books are for, on regions, it, depending on what region you live in, because not all the same plants grow everywhere. But knowing what plants you can eat. I know for a fact, where I live, we have dandelions that grow crazy here. And you can eat the dandelion leaves. You can take the dandelion flowers, and it also for medical purposes. Uh, you can make dandelion wine. I've never did it. It doesn't, I don't know if I'd want to. <laughs> um, there's certain, certain roots of plants that if you don't have coffee, you can dry the root out and make up coffee that way. But there's, that, and this is all about learning skills. Learn how to do this stuff. Go out and actually try it. Um, if you're a person that likes to go camping, go camping for two days, three days. And I'm talking camping in a tent. I'm not talking uh, camping in, in an RV. Rough it. Go camping. Take a 
few things with you that you can cook with. Take some water. Make it make it difficult. Don't make it easy. Don't take lighter fluid and stuff. Learn how to actually make a fire. But anyway, these were just some uh, some skills out I, I was thinking about. Skills that I think would help everybody. And uh in a worst case scenario. So give me a like, give me a comment. Just let me know what you think. Share your thoughts. You guys have a good weekend and I'll talk to you later.